Justin Trudeau does not pay this station for these shows. So please, donate, subscribe. Brian Lilly of The Sun, also not paid by Justin Trudeau, joins me. I'm not paid it. by you. <laughs> That's true, too. <laughs> we'll have to see you that someday. I'm not paid by me either. Um, you wrote a column the other day about the Toronto Island Airport. For people out west and out east, bear with me. Because there is an airport on Toronto Island, and some of the politicians want to turn it into a park. That airport has been there since before planes were flying, almost. Mm -hmm. It's a great profit center. It brings business into Toronto, and they want to turn it into a park. There seemed to be a theme going through Canada that we don't need to make money. We're just going to go back to, back to nature, and everything's going to be great. This is why this is a problem that everyone across the country should pay attention to. Yeah. This is not just a Toronto issue. So yes, we've got this well, airport, Billy Bishop Airport. Um, it goes back to just after the First World War. That's how long planes have been flying in and out of there. Um, we've got islands, you know, just jutting out into uh, Lake Ontario. All man-made, by the way. Right. But they're there. And so a century of people flying in and out of the city via these airports. But some want to say, oh, no, we shouldn't have them there. We should shut them down. It should be parkland. Uh, there is a, a federal requirement right now for runway and extensions for safety reasons. You know, remember a few years ago, there was a, a plane that went off the end of the runway at Pearson. And after that, the federal government said, ooh, you know what, we've, we've got to make sure that there, there's a little bit of extra space just in case. And so this is a federal requirement. So the liberals who have long opposed this airport's existence, who opposed extending it previously, are saying, you have to do this. Well, we've got Olivia Chow is the mayor in Toronto. She's a new Democrat. Her and her supporters do not like this airport, although I did get her on the record as saying, what, you think I'm going to close down the airport? Well, yeah, based on your past statements, I do. <laughs> but it's a whole idea of the progressives, which our prime minister is. He's not a liberal. He's a progressive and the NDP, which are in bed yep. with each other, saying, you know, don't worry about the economy. It's, kind of, it's like true. The economy is going to take care of itself, which is why groceries and, and are And the so budget expensive. will balance the itself. The budget will balance. But they're trying to come back to nature. But they're doing it in the busiest parts of the country. So where is, it, where is the sense to that? To close down operating profitable businesses because we want more parks. If you look at any world-class city, you look at New York, Chicago, um, Los Angeles, London, go around the world, they have more than one airport. And there is often a, a, an airport for smaller planes closer to the city. I've used the island airport for years. I used to fly back and forth from Toronto to Ottawa all the time. But they don't want that. They want a return to nature in a way that doesn't actually exist. That's the problem. That is a big problem. Brian Lilly, thanks for showing it up. Three minutes. To those of you who have subscribed and donated, a heartfelt thank you. You're keeping us on the air. If you're watching and you haven't, please try to do so because four years ago, we started this show because there needed to be independent analysis. Now more than ever, with the Online Harms Act, once that gets into law, it's been passed once by the House, there are gonna be hundreds of bureaucrats censoring the news in Canada, censoring this show. We need to keep it on the air. Thanks for your support.